Welcome to our online class. This is Ma'am Teresa Tobal. Join me to enjoy mathematics. Are you ready to learn about the infinite geometric series? Let's go. Is this is a geometric sequence? Identify if the given example is a geometric sequence. Select yes or no. Do you think this is an example of the geometric sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32? Yes or no? Correct. The answer is yes because the common ratio is equal to 2. If we want to try second term divided by the first term, so 4 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 2. So the common ratio from first up to the last term is equal to 2. How about number 2? Is this an example of the geometric sequence 2, 6, 10, 14, and 18? What do you think is the answer? Correct. No. Because there is no common ratio from first up to the last term. Is this an example of the geometric sequence 3, 5, 8, 13, and 21? Yes or no? Correct. That is no because there is no common ratio from first up to the last term. Is this an example of the geometric sequence 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30? Yes or no? Correct. The answer is no because there is no common ratio from first up to the last term. Is this an example of a geometric sequence 48, 24, 12, 6, and 3? Yes or no? Correct. The answer is yes because the common ratio is equal to 1 half. 24 divided by 48, the answer is equal to 1 half. So let us explore about the infinite geometric series. What is infinite geometric series? It is the sum of a known number of terms in a geometric sequence. Is it possible to get the sum of an infinite number of terms in a geometric sequence? What do you think? Yes, it is possible. If the value of the common ratio is greater than negative 1 but less than 1, the formula is the sum to infinity is equal to the first term all over 1 minus r, where s sub n is equal to the sum of the n term while a sub 1 is the first term and r is the common ratio. Question number 1. What is the sum of this infinite geometric sequence 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 over 8, 1 over 16, and the 3 dots that is considered as infinite? The first term is equal to 1 half, the second term is 1 fourth, let us get the common ratio to identify if r is greater than 1 but less than 1. If that is the case, let us see if this geometric sequence that the sum does exist. So let us solve the common ratio. The formula is second term divided by that first term. So let us substitute the second term that is equal to 1 fourth and the first term that is equal to 1 half. And then to solve for r, get the reciprocal of the denominator. Copy the numerator 1 fourth, get the reciprocal of the denominator 2 over 1 or that is equal to 2. And then let us multiply the numerator. 1 times 2 is 2. And then the denominator 4 times 1, that is equal to 4. And then get the lowest term to get the common ratio. So we need to divide the numerator and denominator by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2, that is equal to 2. So the common ratio is equal to 1 half.
Let us solve the infinite geometric series. So sum to infinity is equal to the first term all over 1 minus r. Let us substitute. The first term is equal to 1 half. Let us replace and then copy 1 minus the common ratio that is equal to 1 half. And then let us solve the denominator. Copy the numerator that is equal to 1 half. Solve for the denominator. So let us get the LCD of 2 and 1. So the LCD is equal to 2. And then let us solve. 2 divided by 1 is 2 times 1, that is equals to 2. And then the second one, 2 divided by 2 is 1 times negative 1, that is negative 1. And then let us simplify. So copy the numerator 1 half, and then 2 minus 1, the answer is equal to 1 all over 2. So, 1 half divided by 1 half, the answer is equal to 1. So, the sum to infinity is equal to 1. Question number 2. What is the sum of this infinite geometric sequence? 1 third, 1 over 9, 1 over 27, and 1 over 81. And continues. Let us identify the common ratio. So the first term is equal to 1 third. The second term is equal to 1 over 9. Let us solve the common ratio. So let us solve the common ratio. So the formula is a sub 2 divided by a sub 1. So let us substitute. The second term that is 1 over 9. The first term that is equal to 1 third. And then get the reciprocal of the denominator. 1 over 9 times the reciprocal of the denominator, that is 3 over 1. And then let us multiply. 3 times 1 is 3, 9 times 1 is 9, and get the lowest term. So the lowest term is equal to 1 over 3. Or we may cancel 1 over 1 is equal to 1, and then the lowest term of 3 over 9, the answer also is equal to 1 third. So the formula for the sum to infinity is a sub 1 all over 1 minus r. Let us replace all the value to the given formula. The first term is 1 third all over 1 minus the common ratio that is 1 third. Copy the numerator and solve for the denominator. So the LCD of the denominator is equal to 3. 3 divided by 1 is 3 times 1, 3. And then 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times negative 1, that is negative 1. And then solve for the denominator. Copy the numerator. And then 3 minus 1, that is equal to 2. And then copy positive 3. So get the reciprocal of the denominator. And then copy the numerator. So the numerator is this one. Copy. And then get the reciprocal of the denominator to solve for the sum of the infinity. So... We may cancel 3, so that becomes 3 divided by 3 is 1. So the answer is equal to 1 half. So the sum of infinity is equal to 1 half. Question number 3. What is the sum of the infinite geometric sequence? 24, 4, 2 third, 1 over 9, and continuous. So the first term is 24, the second term is 4. Let us check if the given common ratio is greater than 1 but less than 1. So let us solve the common ratio. Second term divided by the first term. So the second term is 4, the first term is 24. The lowest term, r, is equal to 1 over 6. It means that r is less than 1, or 1 over 6 is less than 1. It means the sum is exists. So the sum to infinity is equal to a sub 1 all over 1 minus r. Let us substitute. The first term is 24 all over 1 minus the common ratio that is 1 over 6. Let us solve the denominator. So copy the numerator and the LCD of 6 and 1, that is equal to 6. So let us continue. 6 divided by 1 is 6 times 1, 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1 times negative 1, that is negative 1. So subtract 6 minus 1, that is equal to 5, copy 6. So 24 all over 5 over 6. 
get the reciprocal of the denominator. So that becomes copy 24 times 6 over 5. And then let us multiply. 24 times 6, that is equal to 144, and then copy 5. So sum to infinity is equal to 144 over 5. Find the sum to infinity of each geometric sequence if it is excess. 3, 6, 12, 24, and then the 3 dots that is continuous. So let us get the first term, that is 3. The second term, that is 6. Let us solve for the common ratio. So the common ratio is by means of dividing second term divided by the first term. So 6 divided by 3, the answer is equal to 2. 2 is less than 1? No. 2 is greater than 1. It means in the given, the sum does not exist because the common ratio is greater than 1. Can you try it about the infinite geometric series? Let's go. Question number one. Find the sum of the infinite geometric sequence if it is exceeds. Negative 4, negative 1, negative 1 fourth, and negative 1 over 16. What is the answer? Correct. The answer is equal to negative 16 over 3. Because the common ratio that is equal to 1 over 4. Negative 1 all over negative 4, that is 1 fourth. 1 fourth is less than 1, so the sum does exist. Question number 2. Find the sum of the infinite geometric sequence if it is exists. 3, 12, 48, and 192. What is the answer? Correct. The sum does not exist because the Hellman ratio is greater than 1. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 is greater than 1. How about number 3? Find the sum of the infinite geometric sequence if it is exists. 64, 16, 4, and 1. What do you think is the answer? Correct. The answer is equal to 256 over 3. So the common ratio is equal to 1 fourth. 16 over 64, that is equal to 1 fourth. It means 1 fourth is less than 1. Or 1 fourth is greater than negative 1 but less than 1. How about number 4? 1 square root of 2, 2, 2 square root of 2. What do you think is the answer? Correct. The sum does not exist because the common ratio is greater than 1. Let us check the common ratio. Square root of 2 divided by 1, that is square root of 2. And square root of 2 is greater than 1. So the sum does not exist. So the formula for the infinite geometric series is sum to infinity is equal to a sub 1 all over 1 minus r, where a sub n is equal to the sum of the n term and a sub 1 is the first term. r is the common ratio. The sum does exist if r is greater than negative 1 but less than 1. If the value of common ratio is greater than 1, it means the sum does not exist. Any question about the infinite geometric series? Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.